Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. My son dropped off a battery. Uh, LiPo 4. It's all swollen. Kind of melted looking. You can see right here. Hopefully you can. It's all distorted. And he put it on charge. When he went to get it, that's what it looked like. And I don't think he had it in any equipment. I think he just uses it kind of as a standalone, as a little 12 volt source for various things. So we're going to do an autopsy on it, see what went wrong. Or I don't know if we're going to figure out what went wrong. But we're going to look inside, anyways. <laughs> so if you push this little button here, it's blinking 30%. Let's see if it does have any voltage in it. Six point six eight volts. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's just for the fun of it. See if it'll take a charge. Let's see. I'm gonna use my bench power supply here. I'll set it for Set it for 13.8. It's taken 0.137 amps. Thirteen point eight. You disconnect it. Seven point six. Okay, so give me a few minutes to uh, operate on this bugger. I'll try prying on it a little bit. If that doesn't work, I'll take it over on the bandsaw and we'll just do a little slicing on all four sides. See if we can get in there and see what's going on. Yeah, it's only been <laughs> 30 seconds. Started prying on it. it. Looks like it's going to be an easy, easy one to get into. Phew, stinks in there. So apparently that's the BMS and the display. I don't see any goo in there or anything. So, boy oh boy, these are all credited up. I'm thinking it must be one of these cells let out its, they look like, um, yeah, pout cells. Let's see if I can get them out of there. Okay, upon looking a little closer, I see it's all wet. You can see little beads of stuff, so I decided to play it safe. Even though these aren't supposed to be toxic, we're not going to take a chance. Kind of a little tab right there. We shouldn't be yanking on wires, but we're going <laughs> to. Being pretty cooperative. Uh, 
Oh yeah, ooh. It's leaking right out the bottom, all over my bench. See, there's liquid in the bottom. This cell's a different color. And so is this one. That would sort of make sense. Because they only had half the voltage, so these two cells decided they weren't going to function anymore. And I would say she got pretty warm. Well, it's nice to know that uh, things can go wrong that far and it didn't actually catch on fire. I guess I can wash this stuff off afterwards. Yeah, sorry guys. My card and my camera got full, so I uh, had to delete some stuff. I did get a little bit tore off there before I realized it, so we'll continue on here. I just got the, some of the tape off. That's all you missed, so... A weird smell this has got. It's, it's almost... I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's not really nasty bad, but it's like, I don't know if you call it a sweet smell or, or what. thing that makes it easy is uh, all that goo makes the tape <laughs> release better. If that wasn't all wet and slimy, I don't imagine it would be operating this much. You'd probably be cutting it. So we got a little circuit board where they solder the pouch cells onto a circuit board for the main out and the uh, balance leads. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is when I get my soldering gun out, I'll pop these wires off, see if we can get these cells separated just for the fun of it, and uh, see which ones are bad. I don't know, maybe these were a different color. Um, 
But I thought maybe if they got hot, it might have changed the color of them. But could be wrong. This one here definitely is not good. That's where that padding was. Kept it compressed. The same here. So I think these two cells are the ones that are actually are, are bad. So let me get it up a little further apart and we'll put a meter on the cells. Okay, I think we're ready to test these. Hopefully you guys can see the meter okay. Um, let's see, this first one on the end. Nothing. Go to the second one. Got 3.278. The third one, 0.355. So the middle one isn't good either. Oh, and the end one is 3.353. So, this one, and this one's bad. Hmm, not what I expected. So this one is <laughs> all distorted and everything, but it's still good. And the one in the middle looks pretty good, but it's bad. And of course this one's all distorted, it's bad. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they're all bad. <laughs> but, just wanted to see. Just like always, curious to see what's in there. So, don't know whether this was the cause of the problem, this charger was the cause, probably never really know. I guess we better check this charger out and make sure that that isn't what caused this. So, we'll call this a video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you got any more, uh, any comments on uh, opinions about what what went wrong here, make sure you let me know. Always willing to learn. Thanks for watching. See you next time.